Sony 3 machine clock radios. Here's your answer. Yeah, it's just a little bit of 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 a I don't remember when I put it in there, but it would have been around the time that I bought the clock. Because I, remember, I also remember making a video about it, so you can check that out and you can see how long it lasted. I'm not sure how long the low battery indicator has been on for, but uh, it's on. I just noticed it, so I'm going to get a new battery for this tomorrow. Of course, I'm not going to now. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I need to get to bed, which is why I'm whispering right now, because everybody thinks I'm asleep. <laughs> Actually, I think everybody else is asleep too, so there you go. I haven't showed off my display yet, but I put all these clocks here now, so I have to have another display. I actually bought a, uh, over here, I bought a, uh, this is a metal six port power strip with one open port still. So. Alright, that was from a past video, but today I actually bought batteries for things, including a set of new CR2032s for the clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these out of the packaging, and we're going to put it in the clock. Well, I'll tell you what, that was not at all as easy as it should have been. When you have to involve vice grips, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> I don't like their new packaging. I don't know how you're supposed to get that apart. But I got it apart with the use of a nail clipper and vice grips. Nothing but the finest. So here it is. The old battery. I don't know if this is original to the unit or not. Of course, I probably will not be able to get any focus on it. There we go. It is a CR2032, and then I dropped it on the floor like a boss. So we'll have to see about getting that out of there and getting a new one in. Okay, out with the old and in with the new. So this is the Duracell battery. I find it odd that they put their uh, little child protective warning on the battery itself as well as on a sticker now. I guess they've been having problems with children eating batteries recently, coin cells. But uh, let's go ahead and put this back in the clock. If I can do that without making a fool of myself. There's a button I'm supposed to push. I believe I can find it. Oh, there we go. I got it. So, now it's ready to go. I apologize in advance for this not being the most interesting video in the world, but I figure that... Uh, you know, I'm interested in seeing how long batteries last. So I figured that this will be, if nothing else, it'll be a time capsule and it will also be a, a marker for me to see just how long this lasted. In the interest of full disclosure, this battery probably could have lasted longer. That clock has been sitting unused for several months, actually, because I've just had nowhere to put it. And I've replaced it with uh, numerous other and better clocks because I don't really like that one. The display is dim as you can probably tell in the video. And that's its highest display setting, believe it or not. It used to be a whole lot brighter, but now it's just kind of not. Another example of the times, I guess. In fact, I would wager to bet that these vacuum fluorescent display power clocks are brighter, or as bright, at least, as that one up there. And they're significantly older. But either way, there you go. Battery's been changed. And there's your clock video for those of you who have wanted clock videos, even though there's a lot of them coming up.